Well, good morning, Alistair. I think Liz Truss showed very strong determination the, in the period where she was foreign minister, uh, for, for foreign secretary, to actually, for the first time, I think, tell the European Union just how badly they've been behaving over the protocol. Uh, I guess, and I know that it was our government signed it, but the reality is it's not working and it has to change. And I think her really being determined to put through the uh, bill, which has already gone through the House of Commons before she left uh, as being Foreign Secretary, and will now come to the House of Lords. And that bill is going to give the government the power to arbitrarily change bits of the protocol, or indeed all of the protocol, that shows that it's not working and it's breaking up the link between Northern Ireland and uh, Great Britain. So I think she's already showed that determination. And I felt also that Rishi had always got this idea that somehow we mustn't upset the European Union. Uh, and of course, as someone who was a strong Brexiteer, um, I'm very pleased that Boris delivered a Brexit. It wasn't a complete Brexit. And I think now, if we're going to really get the benefits of Brexit, and that's where I think uh, perhaps the government in the last two years has failed to really take the benefits. And I think Liz Truss, I think she's going to surprise people. I hope she's going to surprise people because I think hopefully she will do what she said she's going to do. Because quite frankly, if she doesn't deliver on her promises, the whole way that people feel about politicians is going to become, you know, the distrust and the feeling that they never say, never do what they say will, be, will grow. I, I totally agree with that. And also on your point about getting Brexit done, uh, the, 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 the fact that the protocol... Uh, has stalled and that that is a problem is, is not just a minor technical issue, it's at the pounding heart of it. So what did you make of Ursula von der Leyen yesterday? Uh, welcoming Liz Truss as well, but saying, and I quote, the United Kingdom must respect its commitment under the Northern Ireland Protocol if it wants a constructive relationship. Who's going to blink first? Well, I don't think the European Union has shown any real willingness to recognise the reality on the ground of what's happening in Northern Ireland. And of course, we're coming to the end of the grace periods. These were periods that were arbitrarily quite rightly introduced by the government to stop some of the worst excesses of the protocol. I mean, we haven't actually had the full protocol being implemented. So the issue of dogs coming uh, back and forward to, you know, and, and having to pay extra for your dog and to take extra tests and all of that, the whole bureaucracy hasn't fully implemented. So I think the necessary thing that has to happen, at the very least the European Union, has to allow Sefcovic, who has been the, the, the commissioner uh, dealing with this, to have a wider remit. At the moment, he has got no remit to renegotiate. And so all the discussions that have been going on over the last year have been pretty worthless. And so now I think the fact that we've got the bill going through, that Liz Truss has showed she is determined to take on the European Union on this if they are not flexible, I hoped, I hoped that that would mean the European Union would actually um, begin to realise that she means business. And of course, We've seen Conor Burns, the Minister of State in Northern Ireland, doing a lot of work over the summer, talking to the Irish government, going over to the European Union quietly, going to America, actually putting the case as to why it's not working. You know, it, 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 people just, it's not a question of it being an international treaty. And it, when an international treaty is not doing what it was originally set out to do, then something has to change. And I think Absolutely. Liz Truss knows that.